until I found out. Sometimes you gotta go through some stuff All right. to get to the place where God wants you. All right. All right. You see, if I had my choice, I would never go through it. All right. I would just want it always to be a bright, sunshiny day. Yeah. That's what I would want. But so often, God has to remind me that it's not about me. Yeah. The life that I live is to glorify Him. And so, when people look at me, I want them to see all right. And if someone were to look at you, I mean, really took time to examine your life. Yes. Who or what would they see? Jesus demonstrates his power over nature as he arose and he calmed the storm and he conquered the raging sea. And, and when he did that, his own disciples really didn't know what to make of it because they kind of looked around and their mouths were dropped open and they said, what kind of man is this that the wind and the sea yeah. obey him? Yeah. They saw Jesus demonstrate his power over nature. And just as they witnessed his power over the natural, now they're about to see his power over the supernatural. All right. What we have here is a picture of the work of Satan. That's what you have there. When you look at that man, you look at his life, that right there is a picture of the work of Satan. This man at his worst is Satan at his best. I mean, how else do we explain our own bizarre behavior? The violent rages of a father, the secret vengeance of a mother, the sudden rebellion of a teenager. And what in the world would possess somebody to put bombs in a container and put them at the finishing line of the Boston Marathon? If that isn't a work of Satan, I don't know what is. Amen. And you know, folks, hell makes us hurt ourselves. That's what hell does. And not only does hell make us hurt ourselves, hell also makes us hurt other people as well. And that's why it's important to get the hell out. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? That's it. Amen. That's a joke. <laughs> Jesus said, choose the way that leads to life. Yeah. And he said, that is a narrow way. In fact, listen, Satan is to God what a mosquito is to an atomic bomb. Right. Oh, he is. And, and for this man, for this man in the Bible, watch this. Once the hell was out, he was forever changed. I don't know what's going on. But I know this. You gotta get that help. And the only way to do that is to come to Jesus. You can't do it by yourself. No amount of counseling, no amount of therapy, no amount of, 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 of any kind of other medical attention is going to You need your right mind. Don't take it for granted. Amen. Oh, they can change.
And if they weren't so understanding, I'd have been But I'm thankful to God that he knew I'd never do nothing about that. I just had a little uh, absence of mind, I guess, whatever you call it. So sometimes if you walk, if you, if you talk to me and I just walk away, <laughs> those things happen sometimes. A changed man. Why? Because he got the hell out of him. All right. And once Satan was out, everything changed. Yes. And the same thing happens. Yes. When we get that help, Jesus is the whole. Thing.